Let's go. Welcome to Talking Trophies. I'm Ravo. I'm Damien. And today is January 26, which sparks a lot of controversy and also reflection in Australia. So we're here at the Invasion Day March, and we're going to see what the people think. And at the end of the video, we're going to have a little reflection and see what we think about t January 26, and we're going to give our opinions on that. Let's get Let's it. go. Don't cross the line. Don't cross the line. Don't cross the line. Don't cross the line. Don't hold your breath. Don't cross the line. Hey, he got so tense. She in my head, she in my bed, she everywhere. Hey, who do you drop? If it's me, baby, then tell me. What does a January 26th mean to you? Cause it's depression, really, to my people, family. Most of my, my mother's brothers and sisters grew up on a mission. Um, reserves, but today I, I just see it as a white man's day to be honest, and it's always been like that. It's been like that since I was a young child. What does January 26 mean for you? For me, it's like it's the fact that it's kind of celebrated like around the country is it's insulting because all it's doing is just marking. It's basically you know Australia, colonial Australia, saying. Um, when we arrived here, that's when things were good. Mm. Before things were bad, but when we arrived here, that's when things got better. That's when yeah. we, uh, that's when we, um, you know, made this place civilized, which is you know a very classic kind of colonial thing. That's what they did back in America, um, back in Africa, everything yeah. like that. So that's kind of what it represents to me. It's like the kind of ar the arrogance of white colonialism. What does January 26th mean to you? Uh, it means a day to come out and protest about uh, white Australia celebrating uh, Invasion Day. Yeah. And it's been Australia, and it's Australia Day, but it's uh, not really Australia Day. It's the day that the Indigenous Australians had their country stolen from, or invaded and, and stolen from. So what does January 26th mean for you? Uh, it means a day that we've got to come out and be an ally and support the struggle for racial justice in this country. So what does uh, January 26th mean to you? Uh, it means it means the start of the invasion, I guess, you know. That's when uh, white people first brought their, all their ships with all their peoples and they, you know what I mean, come here and then just, yeah, dispossess the, my people and uh, it all started, it all began then, brother, you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you believe the date should be changed? Shouldn't be a public holiday. That's one thing I shouldn't. We should get past. Shouldn't be celebrating a, a day that that's um, ruined thousands and thousands of lives and depressed a lot of Aboriginals. Not so much about the date for me. It's about um, changing the country and changing the um, you know just trying to wake politicians up to um, to actually show some, some leadership and yeah. um, and um, to respect Aboriginal people. Yeah. And that leads on to the next question. Do you feel like Indigenous people are acknowledged enough in Australia or not? Nah, not really, but it's better than like, you know, um, historically, you know what I mean? Like uh, yesteryear, like every year it gets a little bit more progressive and a lot more people um, get on board and there's a lot more um, awareness raised, you know, with um, like social media and stuff, because it's easier to share information. Yeah. So, so people acknowledge stuff and they have the knowledge to be able to make choices, you know, informed. You know, that's and that's important. So yeah, it, it's getting there. It's not, it's not exactly where it should be, but at least on the right path. You know. And coming to Australia, do you do you feel like Indigenous people are acknowledged here by our government, by Australia, by the government? No, no, like. Uh, you know, Com you know, comparatively to like uh, to like America, because I used to live there for a bit, yeah. slightly more. Um, just in the sense that like they give a lot of lip service. Yeah. You know, they've got the whole kind of welcome to country. Um, they you know they kind of mention things like that. There was the apology, but pra uh, practically no. Um, no, I don't, man. Um, you know that's why everyone's out today. Yeah. Um, just to try to put a point across to the government and yeah. all those that don't believe what we do. I think that's why we're all here and why we all reunite for that yeah. cause. Do you feel like the date should be changed and what, sh what should it be changed to? 
I think if if anything, I think the date should be changed to whenever they um when they uh I forgot what it was exactly, but when they in 1966 the Aboriginal Rights Act, that, yeah. something a date like that. When do you think Australia Day should be? Well, we shouldn't or be celebrating should be, yeah. Australia Day. We shouldn't be no Australia Day. Yeah. And All what right. do you think of Australia Day? Me. Rolf Harris's birthday. Yeah? Yeah, Rolf Harris's and birthday. And why is that? Oh, well, Australia has a long history of molesting children, and uh, he's probably our most famous pedophile. What did he say? <laughs> and when do you think uh, Australia Day should be? I don't know. I don't really have uh, any opinion, but like, I, I don't know when they're going to make it. But you know, I've heard people say like um, May eighth, because like it sounds like mate. You know bro, I mean? I've like, been saying that. I've been saying that to people, bro. Yeah, 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 May eighth, like, mate. Yeah, you know mate, what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, like that's that's a good day. That's a good day. Yeah, I've, I've heard that argument. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, that, and that sounds better. You know? Yeah. And then you know, because everyone says mate, you know, here, yeah, but uh, but yeah, like that's that's my thoughts on it. You know what I mean? But. I think that they should just change it from the 26th of January because that, yeah, that's that's not a good day, you know, for yeah. white people anyways, you know what I mean? It's probably good for everyone else, you know what I mean? The white people when they come here because they got, they got a free country, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah, no, nah, not, not for mine, but yeah. So we just got back from the uh, Australia Day, Invasion Day uh, protest, you know what I mean? We got to hear what people think about it. So what do you boys think about, like, today? you know, January 26th, and what's your views and how do you think it should be changed, if it should be? Or do you feel like it should be kept the same? We'll start off with you, Damien. Yeah, I think the turnout from today was actually really good. I mean, so many people, really diverse. I think today's a lot about reflection. I think you can tell by the people's attitude, people's like yeah. voices that like, they're like, it, it, it bothers them. It bothers them that like, indigenous people aren't heard in Australia, that this day is actually celebrated and not reflected on. And I think that's where I stand with it. I think this day, like, like the date, whatever, like, it's up i think it's up to indigenous people where it should go but like i think if i think they shouldn't get rid of the, the element of reflecting on what happened so that way people know like what what the foundation of australia is and not like kind of ignore it and bro blow it away and that with this big beautiful country that was just birthed like that but i think all right but what do you think like hypothetically tell me what you think should be changed like just yeah. it, you know what i mean it's I, not I it's think, not really I like think australia they shouldn't be celebrated i think it should be reflected on and if they should have reflected, they should change the date to maybe a date that, um, I don't know, I think really resembles indigenous people. If there is a day of celebration in Australia, that Australia day should be a day of celebration and actually on a day of celebration instead of a day of, of tra trauma. Yeah, yeah um, I agree with you on that point. Um, me personally, I didn't know much about um, Aboriginal, like or, or First Nation folk, like struggles that much. We learned about it in school, but like as I got older, you hear more and more about it, then you realize, Australia didn't start off as a country that was beautiful, you know, it's a very dark history um, and it's a country that, that was bred and born in blood and murder. Um, so um, I, I understand, I understand like the, the pain that, like, I would never understand the pain that Ab Aboriginal and um, First Nation folk feel, but I, I could, it's it's extremely insensitive to mm -hmm. not acknowledge that, you know, to celebrate a day where, to have a, a public holiday where you go and have a barbecue, be happy and laugh, take photos, and throw around the Australian flag, and be patriotic on a day when, um, when, when, when boats came, and you know it started mm. the invasion and the genocide of Aboriginal people. And technically, if, it's, if it is Australia Day, I'm supposed to all celebrate a time of multiculturalism. How can an Aboriginal person celebrate that time? You know, what I mean, you, you want to celebrate a day where your great great ancestors were killed and uh, by 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 uh, uh, another white man's great great ancestors. You know, what I mean, it's like mm. it's so insensitive. Um, but I do think I do think we need to have a day as a country. To where we can celebrate what we have now and um, how beautiful we are now. Um, there's still a lot, a lot of things to improve on, but I definitely do think change the date. Um, I think maybe um, a day, for example, that we can something that reflects Aboriginal like values or like history or the achievements or triumph. Maybe a day like when um, Kevin Rudd finally apologized. Kevin uh, Kevin Rudd was a uh, Parliament, and he. He, his promise was that he would, he would apologize and acknowledge the Stone Generation what happened, and that's that was a big achievement. So I reckon maybe have a date that that reflects uh, an achievement of Aboriginal or, of Aboriginal uh, strength and resilience. You know, it's not that they maybe um you know like I'm not sure man, but like something that that reflects their their struggle and their achievement and their triumph. Yeah, yeah.
Uh, that was the first time our cameraman Kyra got behind the mic and spoke deeply into a matter. Yeah. Not bad, not yeah, bad. Not bad. Good debut. Good debut, good debut. Okay. debut. Alright, let me see what I think about Australia then. Straight up. I'm not gonna lie to you, you know me. I'm a bit of a patriot for Australia. You know, I love Australia and like I got good pie in, you know, being in, I consider myself an Australian. But personally, first thing I think needs to be changed is we need to become a republic country. Get rid of the queen. That lady does not give two craps about Australia. Why are we still under them? This woman, however, is an imposter. That's so backwards. Yeah. Then once we become a republic country, that should be Australia Day. And then in the constitution, the constitution should be changed after a referendum. And we should start off by acknowledging the indigenous people truly as the traditional owners of the land. Mm. So that's there. They're on the constitution, on the books, officially noted. And then after that, I feel like we should um, start a new Australia with where it includes everyone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Indigenous Africans, Austra uh, African Australians, Asian Australians, South American Australians, yeah. um, European Australians, anyone that's considered Australian is included in that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we move over to towards the future and where we can have a patriotism for the country. Like, it's not something you should be ashamed of loving mm. your country. You know yeah. what I mean? I feel like it's a bit, there's a bit of a negative connotation. Like with yeah. Australia, it's like, if you love Australia, you know what I mean? It's like, you it's you're racist it. or you don't, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, that should be the, that should be the step we should move towards forward. And then, you know what? From there, Australia might become one of the most powerful countries in the world. That's my views of it. You, you like my views, right? Yeah, I like your views. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, that's what I reckon. That's my views on the thing. And you got to respect everyone's views. I understand people that maybe still want to celebrate Australia Day because maybe it's a family tradition, but also you have to also acknowledge that this, you know, there was a dark history in Australia, and I feel like we got to appreciate, we got to appreciate the indigenous we have now and listen to them and what they mm. feel about, you know, today. And uh, I feel like that's it. But before we wrap up, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Talking Trophies. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment on our videos. Make sure to share it around to your friends as well. Get around it. What do you guys got to say? Uh, can I say it? Stay humble face. <laughs> hey. Don't cross the line. Don't cross the line. Don't cross the line. Don't cross the line. Don't hold your breath.